I cut my bangs myself, so they look a little wonky, and I apologize in advance. Don't make fun of me. Hi hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jenny O'Malley and I like to make bookish and gaming content. And today, we are gonna go over my fall TBR options. Warning, I am a mood reader. A mood reader is someone who reads based on their mood. And so sticking to a TBR is very hard for me. There's no rhyme or reason or order. I give myself the illusion of options. <laughs> that way, whatever mood I'm in, I might find something in here. Ooh. This one's for the Litvik girlies. The Secret History by Donna Tartt. This is a classic, or it's on its way to becoming a classic. It's a dark academia, university setting, from what I know, secret society, and there's a murder. Those are my favorite things. The season of Riverdale with Jughead and the Secret Society society and like all that stuff my favorite my favorite kind of embarrassing that I got that far but I will say the font in this book is so tiny the flop the flop is there but the font my eyes hurt looking at it he lit another cigarette oh it's one of those it's giving Maddie Healy Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn I've read every other Gillian Flynn book but not Gone Girl which is the most popular there's a movie I've never seen the movie I don't know much about it. I have started this finally. This has been on my TBR forever. I'm like two or three chapters in, deep enough in to know that the husband is an asshole. <laughs> like he's the worst. It starts off in his POV and he's just like the worst, but nothing crazy has happened yet. I'm actually excited about this. Guild by Raven Kennedy. This is the first book in the Plated Prisoner series. I think I'm gonna vlog reading the entire series now that it's done. I'm gonna go down this journey with you guys, or you can join me on my journey, however you wanna see it. But this is a King Midas retelling romance fantasy. I know that our female main character is gold, like she's literally dipped in gold. I don't know, I've seen fan art and I'm very excited. This has been in my TBR for a really, really long time. I have all the books on Kindle, like I own them all on Kindle but I've never jumped in. I think it's time. You know I was on my Throne of Glass journey for like a whole year, so there was no way that I was gonna start another six book series while reading Throne of Glass. No one ever talks about these. This is the Experiment in Terror series by Karina Halley. If you like Ghost Hunters, this is two, like two ghost hunters that are partners. Each book is a different like whodunit mystery. Dex and Perry have the chemistry of Mulder and Scully and the scares of the Winchester brothers. So already you won me. You're referencing the Winchester Brothers? Boom. But creating and filming a ghost hunting show isn't easy when there are actual ghosts haunting them and then some. It's one of Karina Halley's OG series. Like I'm really excited to get into this because I have four of them and the font's not too little, so that's a plus. When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. This is an ARC copy. Are you crazy? Like, ah! I got so lucky to receive this from the nerd fam. Like, I didn't know how big this was gonna blow up, but I saw this cover when they emailed me and were like, do you want a copy of this book? And I was like, that is the prettiest book I've ever seen. Yes, it has dragons, of course. And it has blown up so big. I'm so glad, but I need to read it. I need to read it. I'm excited, but mildly scared. All I know is that it's about dragons. I even have a special edition copy because I know I'm gonna love it. I know it in here, okay? I know it. That's an option if I am not in the spooky dooky mood. I have two romance fantasies in there. Masters of Death by Olivia Blake. This, what I know about this book is that the main character is a realtor and she's trying to sell a haunted house. Olivia Blake is an icon. The Atlas Six series is so good. If you have not read any Olivia Blake, definitely pick her up. She even has like contemporary romance books under a different name, under a pseudonym. So pick up any Olivia Blake. The thing that's been on my TBR the longest, Bunny. This is one of those books that you hype it up so much in your head that now you're afraid to read it. Is that just me? Everyone says it's really weird. It's like horror strange for people who like the Heathers and Donnie Darko and stuff like that, which hello, that's me. Hi, that's literally me. I'm the target audience. I feel like I've hyped it up so much in my head that if I read it and I'm disappointed, I'd be really sad because look at this cover. It is the prettiest book I've ever seen. That is the prettiest book I've ever seen, yes. I feel like I say that about a lot of books. It is so pretty. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna be very upset. And last, it's literally a crime if you do not read this in the fall. The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. Look how pretty, look how pretty. Do I know what this book is about? No, but it's giving what we do in the Shadows Guillermo. He's a familiar, right? Yeah. I am a big fan of the Shadow and Bone trilogy, not so much Ninth House, which I know is her gothic fantasy. Um, So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Cause I don't know, 
Those are my options, guys. Those are my options. Chances are I might steer off of all these options and pick something else. That's my fall TBR. Let me know what you think of any of these books on this list if you have read them or if you have any suggestions for things that I should add to this list because I'm open. I'm a mood reader. We're open for suggestions. And as always, stay beautiful. I love you. Peace.